So you have a motorcycle rider in your life and you have no idea what to give them. It doesn't matter if they are brand new to the sport or a lifetime rider, here are some of the best motorcycle gift ideas that are sure to be appreciated. Now, on a few of these items, you may need to do some snooping to find out a few specifics to make sure you get the right thing, but I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible for you guys, assuming you may not know a whole lot about motorcycles. So, if you head on down to the description, I'll have links to everything I talk about. Let's start off with a good one. If you only get your rider one thing off this list, get them this. No matter how experienced or new the rider in your life is, give them the gift of becoming better and safer. Get them a gift subscription to Champio, an online riding school taught by, no kidding, the best motorcycle instructors in the world. It will not only make them a better rider, but the program is designed to make riding a lot more fun. Nothing says, I love you, quite like the gift of riding proficiency. And I actually have a coupon code for this one. Use code FOCUS, F-O-C-U-S, for 10% off a gift subscription to Champions University. Riding a motorcycle is loud, even with the stock exhaust. That's why most of us wear earplugs, and if your rider doesn't, they should be. Get them a whole box of earplugs. These yellow and pink earplugs from Howard Leet are our favorites, and an entire box is around $20. They are extremely comfortable and have the perfect quietness level. They block out the wind noise and actually make it even easier to hear cars and sirens and all the other important sounds. A gift all of us are sure to love is a merino wool buff. This is a simple cloth tube that we wear around our necks and not only does it help us stay warm, it actually helps us stay cool in the summer. It protects us from sunburns, bee stings, and even when debris hits our neck. If your rider has long hair, it can be used to tuck the ponytail into the back and they come in a myriad of fun colors and patterns. These are one of those things that me and Mrs. Canyon Chasers always ride with. So even if your loved one already has one, a second one will absolutely be appreciated. And speaking of great things that come in wool, these darn tough wool socks are another favorite bit of riding kit, especially in this taller length for riding boots. They are a little uncomfortable the first few times you wear them, but they get better with age and come with a for real lifetime guarantee. Being wool, they keep our feet dry so our piggies stay happy in either hot or cold weather. These are rock straps. They are retro-reflective, adjustable tie-down strap. They don't scratch the bike when we attach them, they release quickly and can be adjusted to different lengths based on need. Bungee cords have always been a staple of motorcycling, but rock straps take it to the next level. These are the only straps we ever use anymore. Motorcycle hand grips wear out and get nasty over time, but they can and should be replaced. My absolute favorite motorcycle hand grip in the world are these from Domino. They are the same grips used by some of the best racers in the world. I guess that's why they are called the MotoGP grip. Plus they come in lots of colors, so you can get some that match the color of your loved one's motorcycle. And they are only about $25. All of us love our bikes and love keeping it shiny and pretty. Honda Spray Polish or Motul Wash and Wax Spray are both designed specifically for motorcycles. The difference is most bikes are actually painted plastic, not painted metal like cars. Motul also makes an insect remover, which is amazing, as well as this helmet wash that keeps the inside of our helmet smelling pleasant. Plaxus is a polish specifically for windscreens and helmet visors. A bag of microfiber rags would complete an awesome bike detailing gift bag. The Kirkland rags are the best value in microfiber, 36 rags for $15. Motorcycle tires are not like car tires. They wear out super fast. Your car tires might last years. Motorcycle tires usually don't even last through one season of riding. So we are constantly checking our tire pressure to get the most life out of them. Not to mention, correct tire pressure is a huge safety issue with bikes. You get a flat tire on a car, it's an inconvenience. On a motorcycle, well, we might fall over. So a nice motorcycle specific tire pressure gauge is an awesome gift. This one has gel inside of it, so it's extremely accurate, and it has this little valve that allows us to let pressure out to make sure the pressure is spot on, because even two or three PSI can change how our bike handles. This is my favorite gauge, it's lasted me well over a decade, and it's extremely affordable in the realm of motorcycle-specific gauges at $50. 
Another great tire item is this little battery-powered compressor from Fantic. It's small enough to fit in a bag or a backpack, and all your rider needs to do is set the pressure they want, and it fills the tire up and stops. I use this thing all the time, from touring to even track days, because it's super portable, and it makes tire maintenance so much easier. Now, if your rider has a garage and a compressor, this sounds like a silly gift, but this is the greatest tire pressure chuck in the world. It has an angled rotating head, so it's much easier to access the valve stem on motorcycle wheels with big brakes and wheel chains. And I never would have bought one of these for myself, but it's one of my absolute favorite tools in the garage. Speaking of tools, motorcycles use Allen head bolts for almost everything. This color-coded Weira Allen key set is bomber. The heads are shaped a little bit differently than most ordinary Allen keys, so they are great at removing sticky motorcycle Allen bolts. If the rider in your life rides a Harley, get the Imperial set. Any other brand of bike, including Indian, get the metric set. This one is gonna be a little bit harder to make sure you get the right one. But a dark smoke visor is one of my favorite motorcycle items. They are like sunglasses for a helmet and they wear out. They get pitted and scratched over time. The challenge for you is they are specific to the exact make and model of helmet. Like, not only do you need to find one that fits an AGV, you'll need to find one that fits an AGV AX8 or a Rice Signet or Shoei RF 1100 or whatever. But if you can sneak this detail out of your rider, this gift is sure to be a hit. If your rider commutes a lot and is using just any old backpack, get them a backpack from Kriga. In my humble opinion, these are the best bags in the world for motorcyclists because they are designed for riders. The shape of the straps are different to clear our shoulders when reaching forward to the handlebars. They have this articulating center hinge thing for even more comfortable, but most importantly, they are impossibly waterproof. I've ridden in toad floating rain with my laptop without ever even the slightest worry things would get wet. And once you're in the Kriga ecosystem, their bags are modular, so you can attach them together based on the needs of the day. I'd suggest the mid-size bag, like the R16, R20, and the R22. This is the R22, which is about as big of a bag as I'd ever want. They are about the perfect size for commuting, day rides, and even weekends. Now, if your rider likes to get video of their rides, here are two great items. This is a Dango clamp chin mount for an action camera. It works better than any of the others out there and it pops on and off to any full face helmet. They come in a parcel of different colors and while $50 seems like a lot for what it is, trust me, I've used a bucket of these kinds of mounts and this is the only one that I still use. And lastly, if you have the money, a new action camera just came out this fall and it is perfect for motorcycle riders. The new GoPro Hero 11 Mini. The Mini is the important part because not only is it smaller, but it mounts on the bottom and on the back, which is something totally new. It makes mounting them so much easier. Like on our Dango chin mount, I don't have to hang the camera upside down. I can just point it forward like this. I hope this was helpful to you. If you are not a motorcycle rider and you are just a little confused, head on down to the description and I've tried to break it down so this holiday shopping season is as easy as possible. Now, if you watch this channel and you are hoping somebody gets you a gift, maybe just casually drop a link to this video someplace so they see it and they buy you something. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Ride on and ride well.